Hi, it's Reagan with Amore Designs, and it is day 10 of Marion Smith's challenge. And it is, oh, about 10 p.m. here, and I am tired. Um, today, um, I took a nap, which was very nice. I don't usually do that, and um, I have to be super tired to do that. And uh, I was tired, and I actually laid down and took a nap, and it was nice. So, did something for myself. But what I wanted to share is my day 10 challenge for myself was to um, do my February recipe cards for the collage melange group at White, at Your Paper Pantry hosted by Yoli. And um, I wanted to get these done so that I could get them out in the mail um, before we move. So I just used, they're not all the same, I used different... Um, Valentine's papers that I have, and I actually used the rest of the stack I have, so I no longer have any more <laughs> Valentine's paper. But, um, anyways, I just made like a little pocket. It's four by six, and I made it folds over, and I made a pocket, and I distressed all the edges with my Stampin' Up distressing tool. And then, um, I p printed this little, it says cakes and fillings. But um, it's a little ad or something card um, that I printed off from the Graphics Fairy. And I inked it with walnut stain around the edges. And then I cut this little image of the girl getting into the oven um, on the Cricut cartridge. It's like baby's first year or first year or something. It's like all silhouettes. And I've been wanting it for a long time and I finally got it and I love it love it. So um, I cut those out and then I have a Stampin' Up! stamp set that has recipes so I just did the recipe card and then desserts and then I wrote out my um, grandma's recipe and then I have my name and my blog on the back and that just tucks inside the pocket and then on the back um, from the same Cricut cartridge I cut this little card and um, here's a better one cut this little card out it says sweet with a little rolling pin and I inked the edges with fired brick and then on the back I put black so that it would show through but it would be a cute photo mat and then you know you could journal or something about your sweetheart or whatever and um that's about it I I inked the edges of the recipe cards with tea dye on both sides to make them look a little bit older and um Anyways, I made 16 of them. 14 will go to Miss Yoli, and one is for myself. And then I make an extra one for my sister. Since they're my grandma's recipes, um, even for Christmas, I had an extra one, and I gave that to my sister. And then um, these two. This one is going to be mine, and then I'm giving this one to her. Um, so, anyways... I will um, try to get these out in the mail to her tomorrow. Um, my goal tomorrow is to... Oops, I just put all these upside down. My goal tomorrow is to do my charms for the charm swap that Allison and I are hosting over at Your Paper Pantry. That's my goal tomorrow. Oh, and I'm going to be sending um, one of these recipe cards for each person in the swap, the recipe swap, because I bought them to use for this, and then they didn't work out. So I'm going to send one of those for each person. And that was my day 10 complete. And I will see you again tomorrow. Bye.